Okay, this is with what you start. This is Blender's uh, default scene. And you just press A and A again to select everything. Then uh, press the delete key or X key and either click with your mouse or hit enter again. And it's gone. Then go to file, import, wavefront obg. I put the barrel on my desktop, yeah. Okay, there we go. And uh, most models are, uh, yeah, they use a different uh, orientation system. So I'll try uh, Y forward, which will change uh, up to Z. Okay, import. Uh, okay, it was obviously <laughs> already right uh, oriented, but we can fix it. Uh, hit N to bring up this side panel. Um, right click on the barrel to really select it. Uh, it's, it's some kind of bug uh, it shows selected with a red border, but it's actually not. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, this is the right one. 90 degrees. Okay. Can change to texture and uh, wow, it uh, already got the texture. This doesn't always work. But this time it did, which is great. Uh, if not, then you would have to mess around uh, with the materials here. It says barrel if you want to change the material name. Um, like, uh, let's say, MTL barrel test. Uh, this name will be used in Asset Manager, so make sure you name it uh, the same way as you do in Blender. And here's the texture. Uh, there's also a bump map, but uh, we can't export bump maps to Xmodel export files. Uh, they just support color maps and the rest has to be done in Asset Manager. Okay, and let's have a look at the UVs, which is here. Um, yeah, Blender uh, changes back the view all the time. Uh, okay, it's selected. Yeah, you can select with right mouse button. Um, deselect with A. And if it's selected, it's uh, usually in object mode. And with tab key, you can go to edit mode to change the meshes and you see how uh, this is actually done. Now you see uh, the texture also here, the unfolded texture. Mm, and for some reason I can't see any uh, any lines here, which is, uh, there should be lines. Um, not sure why. Let me see. Oh, it's set to UV. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. You should uh, see something like this. Yeah. Uh, I will revert this for now and see if I can export anyway. Let's try. Test. Yeah, you can uh, mostly leave all the settings at default. Uh, even if you have no armature, it, it won't care. Okay, that went well, but we'll, we'll see if it converts later. So I figured out what the problem was with uh, the UV coordinates. i show you. Um, I will just import it again. Um, barrel, here we go, and I'll leave this to the default settings this time. Uh, it's all good. Okay, go to UV editing. And yeah, here's the texture. And if you hold Shift key and press your mouse scroll wheel, you can move the view. And there it is. Uh, it's disappearing here because I uh, do screen record. But it's working. I tried it and it's all good. Okay.
but I've seen it's way too small and I will scale it up three times how to do it. Uh, if selected and in object mode press S key you see I can scale with the mouse oh, but I will just type 3 0 ok and press the comma or on a yeah on an English keyboard probably um, a full spot a full spot on your numpad to zoom to selection and we'll just export again to desktop barrel test okay bring up uh, this panel here and there's a clip setting and if you got large models uh, yeah like like complete uh, maps you need to change uh, the number and the easiest way is, is mostly um, removing the dot enter and yeah it, it won't disappear that soon again if I say 100 and it's gone Blah. yeah if a model looks like this and you know increase the clip 